Hi. In this part, we will consider application of variables in the scorecard development process in Plugin Score Modeler. When the data is prepared, sampling is done and we have two subsets for modeling, the training subset and the validation subset. We continue the development process and start using variables. We need to choose all variables that will be used and to disable all unnecessary variables. The application allows doing that by selecting, unselecting a corresponding checkbox. The first issue we are going to consider is a correlation between different variables. The correlation is a measure of dependence between two variables. It may vary between minus 1 and 1. The higher an absolute value of the correlation, the higher dependence. We can have a look at correlation statistics here in the Global Variables tab at the top and in the Dataset Correlations tab on the right. If the correlation between two different variables is too high, for example more than 0 0.7, that means that in terms of modeling, these variables are almost similar, and you should disable less predictive variable by disabling a particular column, which can be enabled later. A disabled column variable will not be used in further scorecard development process. The second issue we will consider is analysis of the predictive power of variables. Here we can see the abbreviation IV. IV stands for Information Value. Information value is a measure of the predictive power of a specific variable. If we sort the variables by IV, home ownership will be the least predictive variable and savings the most predictive variable. If information value of a variable is less than 0.002, the variable should be considered unpredictable, while a variable with information value greater than 0.6 is considered to be a very predictive variable. If variables are overpredictive, a manual adjustment of points may be required for them in a developed scorecard. We will talk about that in further movies. Information value depends on binning. Binning is a process of dividing numerical variables into different categories. As a result of the binning process, numerical variables are transformed into categorical ones. Binning is required for scorecard development because of the following. Increases scorecard stability. Some characteristic values may rarely occur and will lead to instability if not grouped together. Improves quality. Grouping of similar attributes with similar predictive power will increase scorecard accuracy. Allows understanding logical trends of good-bad deviations for each characteristic. Binning is done automatically by Plug and Score Modeler. However, we need to make some manual adjustments. For example, let's have a look at the job time variable. There are a few simple rules of thumb for binning. Maximum five different categories are allowed. Each category should comprise at least 5% of a subset. And we should try to maximize IV. And maybe the most important rule, there should be a logical trend. Here is a rising logical trend. Thus, for example, a client with a significant work experience, for example, five years, last category, will be less risky than a client without any work experience. A graph should be monotonous and may vary only at the end of a value range of a specific variable. As we see in this case, the logical trend is strictly rising. These two categories have about the same bad rate, so we can merge them. Now we have only four categories. We can move a vertical ace or just click set value, for example, if we need an integer number. Categories of string variables may be merged into one category as well. For example, the professional category and the white collar category have about the same bad rate. It is possible to merge them into one category named Professional plus White Collar. For modeling, each category will be encoded as a separate variable, only with values of 0 and 1. The 1 value is applied if a client has this characteristic, and the 0 value is applied in other cases, when a client does not have this characteristic. We should have a look at the Variables Correlations tab. Pairwise correlations between two categories are displayed here. It is necessary to control highly dependable variables. In this case, less predictive variables should be disabled. We will talk about logistic regression model in our next videos. If you have any questions, please contact us at contacts at pluginscore.com or on pluginscore.com or by the phone on your screen. Thank you for your attention.